Hi everyone, welcome back. Today sharing a very delicious and a special whole chicken tandoori recipe without using oven or grill and we'll also show how to remove skin from chicken. So stay tuned until end as this is going to be one of the best tandoori recipe you'd have ever had. Hope you like it. Keep watching. So this is the whole chicken which is around 900 grams. To begin with, we need to cut the end part of the leg bone and then we'll proceed. We need a table salt and a sharp knife. So let's begin. So cut round the end part of the leg bone and then gently slice the skin of the leg piece. Now apply a little salt in your fingers to get a good grip and pull the skin backwards to remove it. That's it. The skin is removed now. Now repeat the same with the other leg piece and both are done. Now make a fine cut as shown and then apply a little salt and peel off the skin backwards. Using both the hand and the skin will come off easily. The back side of the skin is removed now. Now just turn it over and then easily and gently pull off the skin and it will easily come off. Now the skin is removed completely so remove any visible fat. Now let's make the gashes as shown on the breast and then we'll do the same on the back and also on the leg piece. These gashes will help in good marination and will allow all spices to get nicely absorbed and will make the chicken very juicy and tender. I've cut off the wings part, you may keep it if you want. Now making gashes into the leg pieces. Now just turn it over and similarly make gashes on the back side too. Some make tandoori's with skin on, however I prefer to remove it as to get rid of any excess fat. Now choice is yours, you may follow whichever way you like it. Now you can see, gashes are done all over. Our chicken is perfectly ready for marination. For preparing the marination into a bowl, squeeze in one lemon. Followed by 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, salt as per taste, 1 tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder and mix all well. Now apply this mixture thoroughly all over the chicken and rub well on all sides, inside and outside the gashes, all over and then leave it for 10 minutes. This is the first marination which we have prepared. While this is getting marinated, let's move on in preparing the second marination. For that into a bowl, add in 2 tablespoons of thick yogurt or curd. Then add 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin or zira powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper or kali mirch powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander or dhania powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, 1 tablespoon of dry fenugreek or kasuri methi, 1 tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, salt as per taste, little oil, around 1 teaspoon and then 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and mix all well together. Once this is mixed, finally add 1 tablespoon of tandoori masala powder and then mix well again. Now the second mixture is ready. This is the consistency we want. Now pour this mixture over the chicken and then apply the marinated mixture all over the chicken onto each gashes inside and outside, underneath and outside every corner very nicely. A good marination is a must to have a juicy and a tender chicken. Ideally 1-2 to two hours is sufficient, however you can marinate for couple of hours to get the best result. So cover and refrigerate it at least 2-3 to three hours if you have short of time, otherwise keep it overnight to get a best result. Now it's been marinating for a couple of hours and you can see it looks perfect for grilling. So now we are gonna grill it on a normal pan. So let's learn how to do it. 
So heat up a pan and add around 2 to 3 tablespoons of butter and then allow it to melt completely. The flame is on low to medium heat. Now place the marinated chicken and then we gonna cover and cook the chicken for 10 to 15 minutes on each side. The flame is still on low to medium. So cover and cook it. It's been cooking for 10 minutes. Let's check. The chicken is half done. So flip it over and cook on the other side. So again cover and cook the chicken for another 10 minutes. Do try this recipe as this is one of the best tandoori chicken recipe you would have ever had. Once the chicken is half cooked, just flip it over. And then at this stage we are going to apply barbecue sauce which is around 2 tablespoons all over the chicken. Trust me, this sauce will give a very special and a unique flavor and will make tandoori chicken more delicious. So brush in the sauce all over the chicken and then we are going to cover and cook the chicken for around 5 to 10 minutes or until it's completely done. You may adjust the spices as per your taste and you can also make the same recipe using single pieces of chicken. So do try this way and you will truly enjoy this extremely delicious tandoori chicken. Now sauce is applied on all sides so I am covering and cooking for another 5 to 10 minutes. Chicken is completely cooked now and it looks juicy, tender and smells super flavorful. Once the chicken is cooked, now we are gonna give a smoky flavor to it. For that, we are gonna brush in some melted butter all over the chicken. So brush in the melted butter and then we are gonna keep a stand on a stove and then place the cooked chicken over it and then roast it for a minute on both the sides. It will give a very nice smoky flavor to the tandoori chicken. And that's it. Our super special and a delicious tandoori chicken is absolutely ready. Last but not the least, just before serving, apply little honey all over the chicken and see. It will give an extra flavor and divine taste which you would have ever had. A super tasty and a juicy tandoori chicken is absolutely ready. Serve it hot with mint sauce and also with slices of cucumber, onions and tomatoes. Now let me break and show you. It's very juicy and tender. Enjoy this super special tandoori chicken with your family and friends. And they will be highly pleased and impressed after having it. Hope you like this recipe. If so, don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome recipes. Until then, take care of yourself. Happy cooking. Bye-bye.